Well, if your internet seems a bit sluggish, switching service providers might not help. Experts say you may be better off, believe it or not, moving to another country. SNN's John Woodruff joins us now from the newsroom to explain why they're saying that, John. Yeah, it seems a little bit ridiculous, but the United States is currently way behind the rest of the world in internet speeds, and some of the countries ahead of us may surprise you. You listen to all the, the advertisements on TV and stuff, and we think we're doing fast, but yeah, it's very hard to believe. A recent study shows we are 33rd in the world in internet download speed, finishing a few spots behind former Soviet states Estonia and Slovakia. And while that may come as a surprise, some of us on the Sun Coast notice the nation that invented the internet has been slipping. Our wireless uh, probably have a uh, system that's way far behind some of the uh, third world countries. The hub founder, Rich Swire, says most of the country's internet service providers haven't upgraded their wired broadband infrastructure in 20 years. And as the market stands, there isn't much incentive to change. Competition does spur more investment and growth. And I think for the most part in America, a lot of the areas have been monopolized by one or two carriers. And so it doesn't really force them to offer better service. Slower internet speeds don't just affect your YouTube watching habits. Swire says download speed can be a major economic driver. Broadband is definitely the lifeblood of a technology company. It's much like, like the railroad or the river uh, 100 years ago on how we basically conduct commerce. With regional monopolies dominating the market, Swire sees only one way we can keep up to speed with Hong Kong and Singapore. Municipalities have to play a role in broadband development and that's something that we haven't really seen. One of the key investments we could make is time and energy into how we can better broadband not only as an economic driver to draw businesses to our area but also to help existing businesses stay here. Now compared to the rest of the nation, the Sun Coast isn't faring so bad. We're currently 11th in the nation with New Jersey taking the top spot. Well, John, it may not be the case for everything, but when it comes to high-speed internet, higher speed is definitely better. Oh, definitely. Can't get fast enough with the internet. Thank you, John.